Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inxlaura123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you what I'm selling on eBay this week. So yeah, for those of you that don't know, I am an eBay seller. I've been using eBay for absolutely years now and I love it. And I really enjoy being a seller. I enjoy, you know, taking all the photos of the items. I enjoy doing all the descriptions and then seeing like, you know, how the bidding's going and stuff. Um, the only thing I don't enjoy about eBay is like having to stand at the post office with like bagfuls of packages because, uh, you know, quite a few people in the queue are like, oh, come on. Oh. So that's the only kind of negative thing. Um, obviously, if you're only selling a few things at a time, it's fine. Um, but when you go in like me with bags of like 25 packages, yeah, people in the queue behind get a bit peed off. But. But apart from that, <laughs> I really enjoy it. And it's a great way of making some money. Cash, cash, cash. Um, so yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you what I'm selling this week. I try and put on stuff pretty much every week. Um, I did struggle around Christmas time. I literally, I put on loads of things that I thought would, you know, do really well, but just didn't. Um, and they ended up going for really low prices, if at all. Um, and I think that was the thing of like the Christmas thing, everyone's spending money on Christmas already and, you know, they're quite low in cash. And I think next year I'm not going to put on things around Christmas time, just maybe at the beginning of December. But yeah, as it gets towards Christmas, I'm not even going to bother. Um, but anyway, it's a new year. It's January. People are ready to buy stuff on eBay. Uh, the stuff that I sell on eBay, it's either, you know, clothes that I don't wear anymore, uh, books that I've read and that are in good condition that I sell on. Or I go around local charity shops, buy stuff and then sell it on. And everyone's a winner with that because the charity shop, obviously, are making money because I'm buying, you know, items in their shop. So that's good. Give it to charity. Yay. Um, and also, I make a profit because I'm selling the stuff on eBay. And also, the person who's bidding is a winner um, and, and buying the stuff because, you know, they're getting clothes for a really decent good cheaper price or books for a cheaper price um so yeah i look for stuff when i'm out just a few little tips i look for stuff um obviously you know it depends on the label bigger labels and, and names get more money and that's not exactly um labels that are really like you know ultra posh and glamorous it could be like primark h&m new look those kind of labels do really well marks and spencers um even peacocks things like that Anyway, so I look for that. And what I go for uh, mainly, if I can, is plus size clothing. And I do that for a reason that for me personally, I'm a plus size girl. I'm a chubby girl. Um, and, and I find it hard shopping sometimes because you go clothes shopping and they've got all the sizes, you know, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, blah, blah, blah. And as soon as you start going up in the clothes size, it is difficult because, you know, there's less left. People have already been in and, and took the plus size clothing. Um, and so you do find yourself going on eBay or what other, other site you use, I don't know, to find clothes that are in bigger sizes. So, um, yeah, I do uh, try and look for the plus size clothing. And they do sell well because obviously there's more need for them. There's a call for that kind of size, you know. So I try to look for clothes that are kind of sort of 16, size 16 plus. Now and again, I will get some smaller sizes. If there's like a pound row in a charity shop, um, you know, and it's like really cheap, but a size 10 or whatever, I'll still get that. Um, or if it's if I see something that's a, a lowest kind of size, but it's got like tags on. Yeah, always try and look if you want to do something like this for yourself. A little tip as well is to look for stuff with tags on. Things that are new with tags are going to sell better. Um, saying that though, I do sell secondhand stuff with no tags and they, you know, have still sold quite well. So I think it's just dependent on what it is. Um, as for designs and stuff like that, I, you know, sometimes I think, you know, this is going to sell really well. It's great. And it goes for like a pound. Um, and then I've had like a dress that I've got, which is disgusting. I'm like, oh, that's horrible. Um, and it sold for like 30 pound. You can't tell what people are going to want and like, and I'm rambling. Anyway, so let me show you what I'm selling. Now, if you want to bid on any of the items that you see in this video, which I hope you do want to bid, clearly, um, I'll put the link to my eBay page down below um, and then you can uh, just happily bid away to your heart's content. Um, I start everything off at 99p, um, unless it's a really special thing that I don't want going for a pound. Um, but yeah, in general, I put things at 99p because you find the bidding goes up anyway. Um, and also it's free listing if you uh, put things on for 99p starting bid. Um, and I also do bids and not buy it now. My friend does eBay and she does things that buy it now. And she says, I'm silly, I shouldn't do bids. But the way I look at it, I do bids because 
you never know what's you know something's going to sell for um for example as i said the dress that i thought was disgusting you know i'd never know that would have gone for 30 pound and i'd have put it on buy it now for a five or something and do you know what i mean so a bidding um it kind of leaves your options open you can sell for low or, or the bids can go higher and you sell it for more um anyway i'm rambling aren't i sorry <laughs> Sorry. Okay, right. Let me show you what I'm selling on eBay this week. We've got a mixture of things. There's some Harry Potter things. Uh, I'm going to try and get through things as quick as possible because otherwise we'll be here all night. You don't want that. I don't want that. So uh, there we go. Right. The first thing, this this is a bit random. It's not clothing. Um, it's a lunch cooler bag and um, it says mermaids have more fun. Apparently they do. I don't know. I'm clearly not a mermaid, right? unfortunately um this is a cooler bag it's brand new like it's got the tags on and everything um i got this ages ago it was in the cupboard and i've just never used it i'm probably not going to use it um I, i'm a bit silly like that sometimes with shopping not as much now I've, I've really improved in the last year i really improved but before that i did have a little problem or a big problem of going out buying lots of stuff i, I didn't really need I, I think it was more of a kind of mental health issue that i was dealing with and shopping was my kind of thing to um i don't know some way make myself feel better but clearly it, it didn't make me feel better um and also i was spending money which i shouldn't have spent so um anyway i don't do that now i'm, I'm more sensible with my shopping but these things like this as i say bought it never used it brand new with the tags if you're looking for a mermaid uh, lunch cooler bag it's there <laughs> Okay, as I say, the link is down below in the um, description box to my eBay page. Click on that and then go to items for sale um, and you'll see everything. And there we go. You can bid on it, not bid on it. I don't mind. Obviously, I prefer you bid on it. Harry Potter. Uh, do you like dressing up as Harry Potter characters? I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Or maybe you're just a big Harry Potter fan and you want to keep a Harry Potter stuff collection. Um, this is a Ravenclaw uh, cloak cape cloak whatever you want to call it it's got a little hood on it up here um so this is a size extra large it's just like this plain like dark well it's kind of black navy black um and it's got the raven claw um motif on it and it comes with a kind of raven claw theme tie i don't think that's the official one but it kind of goes with it. if you're dressing up um, and, you, and you want to be a raven claw person uh, the reason i had that by the way is on my other channel i have uh, two youtube channels um I, I did like a cosplay video as a harry potter character and that's why moni myrtle it was i forgot her name then moni myrtle and uh, by the way yeah if you want to check out my other channel please do uh it's minx lord 123 asmr um ah i've got a big bag well, i've got two big bags of stuff here so i'm just gonna try and deal this as quick as I can. Right, Hello Kitty. I've got a Hello Kitty rucksack. Woohoo! This has already got some watches and uh, I think it's going to do well. Anything with like Hello Kitty is just, you know, quite popular. Um, there is a little purse that goes with that and it is in the bag somewhere. So when I come across it, I'll show you. So you get the bag and the little Hello Kitty purse to match. I've got another Hello Kitty bag as well. Um, right, so this is brand new with tags. It's a size 20 skirt. Um, this is originally from Primark. I bought this because I love the colouring and I still love the colouring. I think it's really nice, but I don't know. I went to wear it the other day um, and I just thought, I, don't, I just don't like it. Like it didn't feel right. I can't describe it. I just didn't like it. So yeah, brand new with tag, size 20 from Primark. Um, and at this, it says on the label, as seen in Glamour magazine. There we go. As seen in Glamour magazine. They featured it in Glamour. I don't know. I don't read Glamour, clearly. I'm sitting here in a cat t-shirt. I don't read Glamour. Right, we've got this shirt here. Um, this originally is from Pep and Co. And it says, just be you. It's kind of like the American flag-ish. Kind of, maybe. Um, so that's um, size 18, I think. We've got this uh, little raincoat, rain mac jacket with a hood on it obviously because if it's raining you want to keep your hair protected as well as your body from the rain this is like a mint green color and it's a size xl from primark i'd say like 18 20 um it's quite baggy and it, it's really nice actually i i like these types of things but i've just got no room in my bag to put a rain max so if it rains i just kind of deal with it but a lot of people do like them 
uh, especially if they go like camping or festivals and stuff they come in handy next up this has got bids already woohoo it's a little blue cardigan but look what it's got on it it's got little um hedgehogs it's so cute it's so cute it's got hedgehogs on it uh, this is a size medium from primark 12 to 14 and uh yeah i i knew that would do well i knew the minute i'd you know put that on it would get bids and and yeah it has and watches so hedgehogs are cute come on everyone wants a hedgehog cardigan i tell you what if it's size 18 i'd probably have it for myself but there we go it's not now this causes me pain to get rid of this um but i, I think it, it's got to be done um look i need the cash let's be honest i need the extra money uh this is one of my favorite items of clothing ever if you were to ask me you know a little while ago what was my favorite item of clothing i would say this um and now i'm selling it on ebay which kind of sucks um <laughs> right so basically this is a size xl 1820 i would say um hoodie for, uh, it's all like fluffy inside as well and it's just gorgeous look at the coloring like the stars and the metallic kind of coloring and oh, I, just, I love it now, the reason I'm getting rid of it is it fits fine. It's not tight or anything around the body. And in fact, it's quite loose. Um, the only thing I don't like is the neck. It's the neck. Um, now there's nothing wrong with it physically, but because I'm a bit weird, I don't know. It, it just makes me feel a bit claustrophobic. I can't describe it. It's just because the neck, it doesn't like come low like this. It's like up here and it. I just feel it. I keep doing that to it all the time, like pulling it apart from my neck and... Yeah, so that's the reason I'm getting rid of it. But it's so nice and fluffy and I'm going to miss it. If only the neckline on it would have been a bit blooming lower. All right, next up, next up, let's do this. Harry Potter. Who likes Harry Potter? Raise your hands. I kind of like Harry Potter, but I'm not as obsessed as I used to be. I went through a phase last year of just going freaking Harry Potter crazy and buying loads of stuff, you know, tops, bags, everything, right? And it, it just got to a point where I thought, this is silly i've got obsessed so uh yeah i'm not buying any more harry potter stuff now i'm only halfway through the books and uh, they're over there somewhere um i've read like five of them so there's still more to read <laughs> they just take ages to read like they're really good but they take ages anyway so i'm trying to get rid of some harry potter stuff i've already done that a few times on ebay but i've, I've gone through and got even more stuff that i'd got um including this uh sweatshirt uh, sweatshirt sweatshirt here uh it's a lovely green color and it's, uh, it says graduate of Hog Hogwarts School uh, of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Uh, lovely green, got white and black stripes on the arm. And uh, yeah, 1820, I think. Yeah, eight, well, it says an 18, but I mean, yeah, you could wear it. 1820 is fine. Um, yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I just went mad. I just had to buy all this Harry Potter stuff. All right, next up is this denim jacket. Now, this I got from a charity shop. Um, this... Uh, is a vintage denim i tell you not just denim oh no baby it's vintage denim right um so this is quite a, a plus size one it's a big size it is a 26 and it's from evans which do uh, plus size clothing evans um and yeah it's this lovely denim jacket now i i saw this and i was like wow it cost me a pound it cost me a pound uh in the charity shop and it's really good condition there's literally nothing wrong with it pretty much looks new to me um so yeah there we go there we go you really do you know get some bargains in these charity shops and what i do i, I go around charity shops and i buy stuff to sell on ebay um but then you know clearly i look for stuff for myself as well and i've you know found some lovely like dresses jumpers things like that um, even underwear sometimes i don't really buy that much underwear in charity shops um, but now and again if i'll see like a bra that's brand new with tags kind of thing then yeah i'll go for it i'm rambling again sorry all right next up i've got this check shirt here purple and black who don't like a nice check shirt um now i actually love this but it's it was too big for me but it's gorgeous i'm looking for the size it's somewhere this is from m and co and it's a size uh, 26 but it is really cool i love it i wish i had one this color i think this color kind of suits me this kind of purple i love purple anyway um right next up now <laughs> now um, i have got better with my spending and shopping and stuff but i did make a bit of a mess up um uh, recently i bought this t-shirt which i featured in my last um primark call video right um it says kindness is my favorite color i still vow that i love it 
and I do love it. But the only problem is I must have picked it up in the wrong size. I thought I'd got a size 20 because um, I like them a bit looser. Um, but it's a 22, 24. And I, I just thought, I can't remember buying that size. And of course, I put it on. Um, and instead of just being a bit baggy, it, it, it just looks silly on me. So I said to Nathan, like, I stood there with my leggings on and this T-shirt. And I said, be honest. I, you know, he knows that I like wearing loose clothing sometimes. Um, I said, does it look too baggy or does it look like you know okay and he's like it looks silly i was like okay he said it looked really long on me and just it made me look bigger because it was so loose um so yeah it's on ebay it's a lovely t-shirt though it's so cute right next up next up we've got this maternity dress this is from top shop um another one of those labels to look out for if you're doing ebay uh, yourself and you want to make some profit and stuff look out for top shop stuff it really does sell well um this is a size eight, I think. Ah, yeah, UK eight, and it's a maternity dress. So obviously it's got that stretchy material as the bump grows. It stretches with the bump. All right, next up we've got a bra. Um, this is a size, I can't remember, 38. Where is it? Ah, no, there we go, 40 double D. Uh, now I am, I am um, uh, put my teeth in. I am a 38 double D myself random information for you um and so this bra would have been fine for me but i just i don't know it wasn't really me i can't describe it i'm a bit funny with stuff like this but it's got a cute little tassel here which is nice but i don't know hmm. anyway so that's on there uh, that's from uh george asda underwear um right now i've got a couple of these uh wash mitts that i'm selling I don't even know why. I don't know why I bought them in the first place. <laughs> like I don't even use these in the shower. I use like a, a sponge. Um, I don't know. I went, as I say, I went for a stage of buying random stuff for no apparent reason. But yeah, these um, that's from the Little Mermaid. I think it's Flounder, possibly, and that's Sully from Monsters Inc. So, if you want to have a wash, they're brand new, obviously with tags. I haven't used them on my bits, and then selling them so that'd be really weird i mean there might be someone who'd want to buy that but maybe not oh there's the little purse i mentioned before you know i said with the um hello kitty bag this is the purse that goes with it so that's on there as a set so you get the bag and the little coin purse with it and then this is the other hello kitty bag that i've got here to sell this is so cute i wish i could keep this but it's way too small for me <laughs> but it's pink and white polka dot and obviously you've got hello kitty on the front uh now i've got a cat t-shirt on at the minute as you can see but this one i am getting rid of because it's just too tight across my boobies um i mean i don't mind a tight top now and again don't get me wrong but this i don't know it's a different material this is kind of loose cotton and this is like this tight doesn't stretch cotton I'm not selling it very well, am I? Um, but yeah, it's a size 20, but I, I, I don't know. I think it's more of a 16, 18, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know. But it's, uh, yeah, it's got cats all over it. Look at that, it's so cute. It's got cats. Meow. But yeah, uh, it just feels like really tight across the titties. A toodle. <laughs> all right, <laughs> um, next up. I don't know why I'm laughing, it's just the word titties. Um, black and white top from Principles here. Um, this is quite smart, you know, it's nice and flattering style. This is a size 16. Principles is that you know is a good make, so I was like, yeah, I think I've got that on a pound row, so that was the result. Um, right, okay, well, one more thing in this book um, in this bag, and it's a book. I'm selling a couple of books. I can't find the other book, I don't know where I've put it. I'm selling the new Karen McManus book. If you remember a story, um, a book called uh, One of Us is Lying, this is the sequel that's just come out. So sometimes what I do, I buy the books, you know, Mortarstone, Smiths, etc., keep them in really top, yeah, tip top condition, um, and then sell them on kind of thing, right? So um, I do always mark them as used, I don't lie and put their new, I put like new or used. Um, so that's what I do. Anyway, so I'm selling that one by Karen McManus, uh, Cut McManus. Ah, one of us is next. That's what it's called. Um, and I'm also selling um, Kirsten White's new book, Chosen, which is like a Buffy the Vampire themed book. So that's on there. Uh, but this book is on there now. Uh, it's called Red, White and Royal Blue. And it's by Casey McQuiston. This is a really sought after book. So um, a lot of booktubers have really raved about it. 
I read it. It was okay. Like I, I give it, I think, um, a three out of five on Goodreads. But all these booktubers, sorry, I'm just going to get the other bits. All these booktubers love that book. They're like, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So it was cute. Like it is good and it is cute. But I just found certain bits a bit annoying. Anyway, anyway, as Don Rickles would say, um, I'm selling these two vinyl figures here. These are Paul Frank, official Paul Frank figures, vinyl art figures, skate edition, Julius. Um, they are Paul Frank. And I'm selling the two as a as a pair, basically. Um, I got them in Poundland. I thought, yay, Paul Frank, that's a big old designer. That'll make me loads of money. Yeah, put them on over Christmas, nothing. So instead of putting them on individually, I'm putting them on as a two in the hope that they go this time. Uh, if not, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably giving back to a charity shop or something. Right, next up, dress. This is a black and white zigzag, funky, wild, rah, in your face kind of style dress. Uh, this was my dress. Um, I just don't like it. I mean, it fits nice. It does fit. It's an A-line dress and it's stretchy. I just don't like it. I don't know if it's because I've worn it so many times over the years. I've just got bored of wearing it or. I don't know, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't like wearing it, so I'll put that on. Uh, this is a funny story, really quickly. Uh, <laughs> this is a Batman t-shirt, um, and it says on it, Batman needs naps too. And it, it's true, Batman does need naps, as do I, I love a good nap. Who don't love a good afternoon nap, right? Anyway, uh, so yeah, the funny story is I bought this in the charity shop, it was in the men's section, um, it's size... Uh, XL 1820 I didn't see the 1820 bit because that would have given the game away but all I saw was XL on the hanger and um, it was in the men's t-shirt section I knew that Nathan loved Batman I knew that we always have a little nap together and I thought it was quite a cute little funny t-shirt as a gift and then he tried it on and he's like oh this this you know it feels really nice and and he went it just I don't know it just doesn't feel right anyway we took it off him and, and we realised it said size 18 and it's a ladies top so I know there's people out there including me by the way who will wear either gender clothing you don't have to be this to wear that etc uh, however Nathan's not one of these sort of people and he will only wear a man's clothing so you know he, he didn't want that t-shirt it's a shame it looked well cool on him but I'm selling it instead so next up We've got this dress here. This is from Next, Next Petite, and it's a size 16. It's this lovely pink colour. It's got these kind of like little flowers on. I think they're flowers, I don't know. Um, A-line kind of style, short sleeves. So, yeah, that is that. We're getting there, everyone. We're getting there. We've got this little bikini top here um, that, as I say, I, <laughs> I got, I don't know why. Uh, I think I wore it in a few live streams. And that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, this is from Primark size XL. It's got the uh, seashells on it. A seashells, a seashells, seashells on the seashore. What? Anyway, I even had a coffee this morning, and I feel proper hyper. I think that's a good thing, is it? Um, I don't know what's happened here. This is uh, the right way, is it? Yeah, there we go. So this is a dress from Simply B, and this is brand new with the tags on. Um, there we go. I can prove to you. It has tags and it's attached. So yeah, this was a size, and now I've got to find all the size label. Where are you label? I think it was a 20 something. <laughs> it's a 20, so I can't find it. Here we go. Ah, right. It is da, 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 24. So it's a size 24 dress from Simply B. Um, new with tags, black with these beautiful purple flowers on. Woo! There we go. Uh, yeah, I know this is a bit of an odd time to sell this, but I thought I'd try my luck. If not, I'll put it in the cupboard and sell it next December. But it's a sexy, ooh -la -la Christmas outfit. Um, did I wear it? Did I not? I'm not going to say. But that's on there, and it's a size XL. <laughs> that was all good, wasn't it? Okay, next up, I've got these trousers. These are jeggings, and they're brand new with tags from yours. Um... Brand new with the tags. And they're a dark green. They are big trousers, big leggings, uh, jeggings, sorry, not leggings. And uh, they are a size 30, 32, a uh, leg 30 inches. Okay, and yeah, they're this dark green colour. And yeah, I, I really like that colour, actually. I would actually wear like, uh, jeans or leggings that colour. I think they're nice, like a dark kind of olive green, is it? I don't know, I like that. This top here 
um yeah this anyway this is from new look right it's apricot at new look and it's um like a mustard blue gray color now it says it's a size 14 but it's more of an 18 i think like between 14 18 dependent on if you like your clothes like if you're a 14 and you want your clothes quite baggy perfect if you're an 18 it just fits with a little bit of space right um but you're basically this I paid, uh, I paid like £25 for this um, a few months ago. I remember going shopping with my friend and, you know, when you're with a friend and they, they, I don't know, it's like they kind of encourage you, oh, you should get that, you should get that, you should get that. And you're like, no, it's, you know, it's 25 quid. I, I don't need it. I don't, no, go on, get it, go on, get it. And I kind of fell into this like peer pressure thing and I, I ended up buying it um, and I do really like it, but it, I don't know, it's just, it's not me, it just... <laughs> it's not me i don't know but that's doing quite well that's got quite a lot of watches and bids already so obviously new look apricot you're gonna do well with that and i think this is the last thing i can show you are you still awake hello knock knock um this is nathan's most hated top that i own so he's really happy that i'm getting rid of this <laughs> All right, so this is from Select, size 18. Um, and here's the thing. I got this about a year ago. This kind of print was all in fashion. Well, I think it was in fashion. I tell myself it was in fashion. I don't know if it was. Um, but it's this black and gold kind of chain design. I, I don't know how to describe it. But, um, yeah, that's from Select. That's on there. When I got it originally, he absolutely hated it. And I, I come home and I was like, what do you think of this? Normally he likes the things I buy, but he, he just didn't like that at all. And I was like, well, I like it. And, and I'm one of these kind of people who, if I like something, I'll wear it. You know, I love Nathan to bits. I love my mum. You know, I love my friends. But if someone was to say to me, oh, you know, I hate that top. I would not wear it because of them. I'd still wear it. If I really genuinely loved it and felt comfortable and confident in it, I'd take on their opinion and then I'll be like, yeah, right then, <laughs> throw it away. Because if I like it, I'll wear it kind of thing. Um, so a few times I wore that around him. I knew he didn't like it, but I like wearing it. And uh, that was that. Anyway, so I hadn't worn it for ages. Went and wear it the other day. And I just looked in the mirror and I just thought, I don't like it. And it was nothing to do with him or, or anyone else saying they didn't like it. I just didn't like it. It just didn't look right. It felt a little bit too short. Um, I don't know what it was. I just didn't. I just didn't like it anymore. So it's gone on eBay and I, I told him, I said, oh, I'm putting that black and gold top on that you hate. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not quite as excited. That'd be weird. But anyway, so they are the things I'm selling on eBay this week. Hope you've enjoyed the video as well, by the way. I do want to do this regular. Uh, people enjoy these types of videos, apparently. That's what my YouTube analytics tell me. Um, and I like doing them. And it's a great way for me to advertise, you know, what I'm selling on eBay. And, and hopefully my lovely viewers will want to bid on some of the items. So everyone's a winner. You get a video. I get to show you what I'm selling and hopefully you bid on it. Um, so yeah. And Nathan's a winner because I've got rid of this. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Please uh, give this video a big thumbs up, like comment subscribe um smash the notification bell and social media come and check it out at minx laura 123 on twitter instagram is minx laura 123 and uh, i've also got the other channel which i'd love for you to go and subscribe to as well hint hint it's like mind control subscribe to my other youtube channel um minx laura 123 asmr and uh, yeah, I do videos on there to help people with anxiety, insomnia, help you relax and sleep. So go check it out. It's a bit weird. I'll, I'll give you credit. It's a bit of a weird channel, um, but weird is good. And it does help millions of people around the world. So that's got to be a good thing, right? Anyway, I'm rambling once again. So thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. And if you are going to bid on my stuff, happy bidding. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Bye. <laughs>